How's it going, everybody? This is Shay D of Shay D Horror back with another watch, a- another review. Today it is The Tripper. This happens to be the unrated version. Let's go ahead and get into the synopsis of this. David Arquette's dead on directorial debut is a brilliantly executed, politically charged, homicidal satire of our generation as well as a real trip and a crazy good time. See it with a bud. As a rural Northern California town prepares for Frank Baker's, played by Paul Rubens, you know, uh, Pee Wee Herman, rest in peace, American Free Love Festival, a serial killer roams the woods, inflicting preemptive strikes on the hippies who've come for the sex, drugs, and rock and roll, sporting a Ronald Reagan mask and leaving trademark jelly beans at his gruesome crime scenes, the killer seems unstoppable. That is, unless he meets an unimpeachable flower child with a hip soundtrack and a killer cast including Lucas Haas, Thomas Jane, Jason Mewes, Jamie King, and Courtney Cox, The Tripper is a hilarious homage to classic horror and politics. I did watch some of these cool little special features on here too, the behind the scenes, and this uh, presidential campaign is kind of cool when he's on the road, when they're on the road there, like uh, doing the promotional stuff for this. So this is The Tripper. It is from the year. 2006 it is rated r it has a runtime of one hour and 37 minutes and it is put out by 20th century fox i have not seen this flick in a long time maybe close to when it came out so being it's president's day and that the killer in this the killer in this movie wears a ronald reagan mask hey let's go It'd also be pretty good for a uh, 4th of July, honestly. Um, I don't think this one has a Blu-ray release yet. I gave it a watch on my old trusty DVD. This movie starts off with some real war footage, the bodies and all. We start off in 1967 in Northern California when the would-be killer is a kid. And a chainsaw comes out, so you know what kind of ride you're in for. Fast forward to 2006, what would be the present day of this movie, and we're off. Back to the Northern California mountains and woods for a music festival. Good location and setting. We got a backwoods slasher set up in a different way with the musical festival going on and some political shit thrown in just for fun. Practical effects here and plenty blood. Lots of recognizable faces here, too, in early roles. It's sex, drugs, and rock and Ronnie, like the tagline there likes to say. It's shot well, and it's trippy, hence the tripper. David Arquette does good as a first-time director here. Uh, Jason Mewes is in here. He's funny. Uh, David Arquette is in here too. He has a, a small role in here and a lot more recognizable people, you know, maybe on an initial watch back in the day, I didn't notice, or, you know, I didn't realize some of the other actors, but this is a stacked little cast here. And uh, a lot of the actors and actresses went on to star and be part of a lot more, you know, movies. There's a, a solid cast here. It's always cool to go back and see early roles of so many. And Paul Rubens is in here too. You know, like I was saying, good old Pee Wee Herman, RIP, you know, to Paul Rubens, who we lost, I believe, last year. I think it was last summer when he passed away. So RIP to him, uh, you know, just a classic actor that did some classic characters. Um, I could go on with the cast and what so many went on to do. But yeah, a lot of talent in here. A lot of horror movie alumni. It's some pretty cool shit. There's nudity, practical effects, and some awesome kills. It's fun, and it's funny. It's got good pacing. I mean, there's a dude running around the woods in a Ronald Reagan mask, taking people out one by one. This is a fun one-and-done slasher. I don't hear too many people really talk about this one either i don't hear this one brought up too much i mean i do hear it brought up here and there but not too much the killer even leaves jelly beans behind and in one scene it explains it and why 
Uh, awesome location up in the Northern California woods and mountains. You got the big ass trees. There's weed growing around. You got the river and the river water flowing. It's just a dope area for sure. A good amount of kills here in this too. All practical effects and the woods are booby trapped. The weed growers got the woods booby trapped to protect their crops. The killer is running around the woods suit and all and the prosthetics are great. The dude even speaks in a Ronald Reagan voice. This is a fun one. I forgot just how much fun and how many kills are in this. It's a cool ass backwoods slasher comedy. To me, this shit works. It's almost it almost has the feel of like a trauma movie, but a bigger budget trauma movie if that makes any sense. And of course, the great cast. Music is good. Um, Fishbone even appears in here too. The band, they're one of the, you know, they're the musical act that's at like the musical festival. It seems as though this whole cast and crew had a fun time making this film. It even looks like in the behind the scenes and stuff, it looks like they just had a lot of fun making this film. I could see some people not liking this because of the vibe and of the tone. And then I could see some people really liking this because of the vibe and the tone. I personally, way back when I first seen this, remember liking it. And as time has went on and I gave this a rewatch, shit, I still do. Uh, it's a fun slasher. All practical effects. Um... I've seen a lot worse backwoods slashers, that's for sure. I personally enjoy this one. The story itself is kind of straightforward, but it's solid. I think it's done well. This is an original one and uh, an original one and done slasher, you know, being that there's no sequels or anything. Although, you know, I could watch a sequel to this one. It's trippy. It's fun. It's got a great cast. All practical blood and gore. A lot of kills and a dude talking like Ronald Reagan, looking like Ronald Reagan on a crazy ass killing spree. Come on, that's a fucking fun slasher if you ask me. It has good pacing and it ramps up at the end more. This dude got an axe and he's fucking people up and slaying them and taking them out one by one. All why he might be saying a one liner or two. I had a blast with this one. This movie deserves a cool ass release with all the bells and whistles. Uh, you know, this one could deserve the new artwork and the new special features. The whole works. I just had a lot of fun with it. Ain't no super crazy twist, just a crazed killer killing a lot of people with a crazy tone to it. And I had a blast watching this one. Hope everybody's been doing good out there. This today is one I hadn't seen for a while, so I thought I'd revisit it, being that it's President's Day. But like I said, this would be a fun watch on like 4th of July, whatever too, or just anytime. I just have fun with this one and done slasher here. And it is David Arquette's directorial debut. I'm not exactly sure what else he's all directed, but cool to see a lot of people have early starring roles in this too as well. This was, this is the unrated version on President's Day of the Tripper.